Hello, I am Ben Barrett, an Enterprise Architect and Consulting Manager at RSM. We are an elite partner with ServiceNow. We joined together in creating this four-part value pillar series for Enterprise Architects. In this video, we will be discussing how the Common Services Data Model helps enable business capability planning. Enterprise architects care about business capabilities. A business capability is what an organization does or what it provides for its consumers, customers, members, or patients. It is represented in a taxonomy. Each industry has their own standard business capability model. APQC is a good source for these generic industry models. Most companies modify to some degree to fit their organization. Here's a small subset example of a business capability model for an integrated healthcare organization. At level zero, we can see that we have two capabilities, provider healthcare and payer healthcare. Going on to the next level down, level one, we see pharmacy imaging and lab linked to provider healthcare and claims adjudication products and member services for payer healthcare. To break it down even more at our level two with pharmacy, we may have community hospital compound pharmacy and likely many others. Now that we looked at what a business capability model is, let's look at business capability planning. We can use business capability planning as an approach to plan future capabilities for organizational growth or expansion. To do this sort of planning, we need to have an understanding of the enterprise strategy and of course, a current state of our business capabilities. How can ServiceNow's Common Services Data Model help in business capability planning? The Common Services Data Model represents a standard and shared framework that enables the reporting and analytics needed to provide value and insights for business decisions. The business capability is represented in both the business domain and design domain. In the green box, we can see some business domain components such as strategies, goals, and business capabilities. In the blue box, the design domain is where we link the supporting business applications to business capabilities. The orange box represents investment innovation, strategic planning, ideation, projects, and demands. The relationships between all these elements are essential for business capability planning. Let us look at an example. In this example, we see our level zero business capabilities provider healthcare. In blue are the business capabilities we already have. It's our current state. In the white box, we see a business capability that many integrated healthcare organizations have, but we do not, a life light. This highlights a potential expansion and growth opportunity. This can be flagged or scored, so when we do our strategic planning, we can consider this as an area of potential growth. In the green box, we can see that one of our enterprise strategies is to expand our business with a goal of 20% increase in revenue by the end of 2023. Building or buying a life light capability may be a good move for us. We can track this with an idea that turns into a demand, and then when we decide to execute, we can turn that into a project. To build this capability, we will need a business plan, helicopters, an airport location, and more. We will also need new digital products or business applications to enable this new capability. At the bottom of the blue box, we highlighted a new business application linked to the business capability, strategic initiative, and project. In this way, the Common Services Data Model can help us with our business capability planning and is all about providing a holistic view into our enterprise landscape. That is a quick look into how ServiceNow's Common Services Data Model helps enable business capability planning. This is the second video of a four-part mini-series dedicated to enterprise architecture enablement. To find out more, here are a few links you may be interested in. On behalf of RSM and ServiceNow, we thank you for your time.